3,000 Then at 19k sold What you know about it? Buying back at 67 sold it when it hit 11 Then I let it hold it I'ma get it when I'm ready Coming from Atlanta now I'm chilling on a beach Never worked another job since this ICO released Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and IOTA This chick makes it happen ever since you showed her Watching all coins blow a thousand percent Happen so fast you can pay the hundred K rent Decentralized so I'm the master of my fate I predict every outcome, minimize mistakes My control panel telling when to buy, when to sell Made it automated so I pop it for the market fell It's okay Crypto prophecy is launching on the net 10k prize, get it? Make you a bet, word Vegas is situated in the United States in the western state of Nevada. Rising like an oasis from the Mojave Desert, this city of over a million people enjoys 300 days of sunshine a year. Hey buddy, would you pass me the suntan lotion? If ever there was a city that shouldn't be, it's Las Vegas. Starting life as a windswept watering hole on the Pioneer Trail, this is a city that continually beat the odds. Over the decades, Las Vegas grew into a kind of neon Camelot, whose casinos and Rat Pack style has become almost legendary. But if your ideas about Las Vegas look like an old Super 8 movie, prepare to be blown away. And I mean really blown away. This is not just a city. The Las Vegas of the 21st century is like visiting another planet, a pleasure planet. It's a total escapist fantasy. Everyone is here for a good time. From Grandma Joe to movie stars, hey, isn't that... Whatever you want, you can have it here. Looking for a taste of classic Vegas daddy-o? Head downtown to Fremont Street and into a world of old school cocktail lounges, piano bars, and classic casinos. Okay, now it's time to hit the strip. If everything's big in Vegas, it's a hundred times bigger here. We're not talking casinos anymore, we're talking mythical cities. Whole worlds geared around you having the time of your life. Whatever mood floats your boat, you'll find it here. Fancy three days of unbelievable indulgence? Say buongiorno to the Bellagio and her incredible dancing fountains. Step back in time at the Luxor or Caesar's Palace. This is what ancient Egypt and Rome might have been like if they discovered electricity and cocktails or happy hours a little sooner. Feeling more tropically inclined? Kick off those heels and feel the sand between your toes at the Mirage and Mandalay Bay resorts. The resorts on the Strip are so vast and self-contained, it's possible to land in one and not step outside again for the rest of your stay. But you will step out and explore the unique themes of at least a few others, sampling the incredible shows, dining, and shopping experiences each one has to offer. If this neon paradise still ain't enough for you, Mother Nature has a few surprises of her own. That is, if you can find your way out. The Valley of Fire is just 50 miles out of town, and the Grand Canyon is a half a day drive away. But as the nighttime descends, Vegas calls like an incredible cluster of neon jewels under the desert sky. Las Vegas dazzles like no other city. She's here to remind us that we're here on Earth not for a long time, but for a good time. And Las Vegas will be the best time you ever had. What's up guys? It's crypto time. No, not really. It's actually travel time. But I do want you to see Las Vegas. So give me a second. Let me go out. Show you. So Las Vegas right now, it's, it's a little chilly. 
I'm in the East Coast typically, so let's see. I'm going to screen so you can see. Isn't it beautiful? So, Aria. Yum. You should see the pictures that come up on this. I swear I'll talk to you about crypto in a second, but that's just so beautiful. I wanted to share this view. Get it. Sign. Actually, so it's probably about 50 degrees. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? gotta say this city is I love it I love it I just love it it's, it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful so everybody that comes to Vegas or lives here cheers to you guys I went to this cool party it's in um the guy that owns Zappos Tony he created this trailer park on that is just epic and they had an amazing stage and party that was so exciting all right so anyways, let's talk about crypto, so you know what's going on. So, it'll be better so you can see that view as I talk. <laughs> yeah, forget me, here's Vegas, prettier during the night. So right now I notice the market cap has gone up from, if you look at coinmarketcap.com and you go to the, um, just the market cap and look at the last day, it actually increased I would say about $10 billion in the last seven days. So it looks like there's some more money going to the space. Um, I did hear that, that you know, we, we know BACT isn't going live right away. And, uh, and this year is going to be the year of a lot of probably invalidation of some coins. However, the creativity of people and all the income producing activities in crypto even has me confused it sometimes. So please, in the comments, tell me about all the different ways that you're making money in crypto because you have airdrops, you have free referral coins. Oh, of course, then you have the buy, high, buy low, sell high. Um, but then there's, um, Palm Beach was talking the other day about this really big thing that they're doing where you would buy a coin and then you get all these returns from the coin and uh, an annual basis. So. That was pretty exciting, but it's complex, and you have to pay about two thousand dollars to get into that. So, right? But we know, like two thousand dollars. If you were in Ethereum last week, it went up fifteen percent. So, check out the control panel, and on the right-hand side, it'll show you seven-day increases, one-day increase, twenty-four hour change, and then you can see like how much money people are making in the market. Now, I, I do want to tell you another thing that it's not exciting to me, but I think I talked about it yesterday too, is that bonds. You know, the bankers are saying, buy bonds. But oh my God, I like literally haven't played with bonds since I was a little kid. That's what my parents used to buy, right? Where you get a $50 bond and in 15 years it becomes $150 or something. Um, but that has been presented from like traditional banker people that if you wanted to just flatline your money so if if the USD does start depreciating if we become into like a recession or if there's inflation then uh, they're saying that 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 is one way to go um, and definitely um, you know diversify your portfolio is what they, they're telling me I'm not a financial advisor but I love to listen to everybody I talk to so I would definitely keep that in your mind you may want to research that figure out if I did want to diversify some of my portfolio do I want to go into bonds I gotta say, there's still some sexy uh, interest uh, accruing, not, I wouldn't say interest accruing, but there are some great um, maturing numbers in crypto still. And, and, and then there's so many opinions about this space, guys. As I meet people, and this weekend I met some very keynote players in the industry, some uh, blockchain developers, some uh, identity, uh, identity software developers and so forth that it's just, um, there's so many opportunities. You just gotta figure out which is the easiest one to, for you to do, right? Or the, or the, you know, even if it's complex, spend your time learning that complex process and then just continuing with that. So personally me, like I'm sticking with technical trading right now. And if I do jump into something else, I'll let you know. A lot of people send me messages in the messenger about this, that, and the other. ICO, uh, 
<laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I am focusing on technical trading this quarter at least and and, and I, I'm setting up my my all my tools to just jump in and jump out. Um I have a few things that I'm actually like holding maybe that but but let me just say this the relationship with my uh hodl hodlers are it, it's not so tight that I won't sell right like it's to the point you know after you've gone through a year of a bear market and you saw <laughs> some of your assets drop 90% you don't have any attachments to this anyway any any more time meaning like I sell <laughs> you know? at the end of the day it's all about making money it's um, you still need to have some fundamentalists too like meaning when I say fundamentals it means that we should know we, we do need to know a little bit about what's going on right you've got to know like ethereum all right why why would it be advantageous to own ethereum and if you've been on the webinars with me you know you can go into coinbase and you can see under tokens you can see all the platforms and it literally is telling you the client list for these infrastructure coins and technology, like the digital asset technology. So if you are hodling or if you're like, all right, well, to be honest with you, market's really good and low, right? Um, so if we are gonna go to like a potential all-time high this year, and if you're getting your ducks in a row, then with all the, the backed going live and all the interest that continues to be in this space and in the blockchain technology, I'm focusing on infrastructure. Because these everyday coins come and they go, um, you know, which will be the next currency. Well, they, the ones that will be the dominating currency probably are being made right now. All right, like I just saw USDC coin come up, Poloniex, promoted it and within the programming of it there's a lot of control there so that was the first time I kind of I like lost my excitement about this space because I thought oh no like this was all about human race and humanity and as um, Andreas um, Antonopoulos I, I love watching him and he's like once Wall Street gets in it's de degentrified and I had no idea what that word meant. Degentrified means like uh, sometimes a city is so exciting when it's new and it's cheap and you have artists and you have um, people that are like wackadoos there, right? But it, it gives it uh, um, a, this vibe about it that's dangerous but delicious. And it's there's no rules and laws and regulations. And so you have real, realism, right? Real people. But then when that people come into that city and they build big high rises and they, and they raise the rent, then all of those artistic, original people have to leave because they can't afford it because they're musicians or, you know, just, just very unique human beings that just don't value money. They value a certain different organic, um, holistic lifestyle. So what Andreas Antonopoulos was saying that's happening to this particular space is that it's being degentrified. So the the um, the whole feeling of like love, peace, harmony, humanity, bringing humanity together, kind of has like it's leaving, right? And so if we're still in the space, and and you've invested time and energy, now literally like I think you need to. St Instead of going so much with your heart, I definitely follow your intuition, but just know that the the people and the players are entering the space that don't really care about humanity, and the people that are in the space they don't care about the good of the whole. So we need to really go win this with all eyes open. That's what I'm saying. So it's it's all about keeping up with what's going on, but also just really numbers. I mean, just the numbers. When, when you see that market cap go up ten thousand dollars, you just gotta know that there there's a death or ten billion dollars. Sorry, uh, meaning, and that's the overall market cap of crypto land I'm talking about. You know that there's somebody that has 
Yay, I gotta like the song by it. <laughs> you know that somebody's got profit and they can take profit, so protect yourself. And don't be scared. In technical trading, um, I was talking to Joe Fitz and I was like, Joe, on one of the webinars, like, do you like take it all the way or do you just wait and ride all the waves and wait for a long term and wait for the next wave? He's like, no. <laughs> it's like, when I am trading and there's money and I see it going down, I jump out. And then they just jump back on another wave. So long term technical traders, they just, they just keep riding the little waves. And technical trading is not really exciting, right? It's, it's probably, um, they say it's, it's more or less boring. I don't have a place to put my phone so it's like an exciting background. It's about consistency and persistency. And, you know, one of the bankers I was talking to yesterday, he said, yeah, you know, um, like Ray Dalio is definitely a respectable whale. He manages over $160 billion with Bridgewater. And in 2008, when all the other banks, they were going down, he actually had an asset that appreciated 15%. So that is like unheard of during that time. And I was thinking, that's it, 15%? I mean, Ethereum did that in one week, right? And they're like, yeah, I mean, so we are so spoiled right now with these amazing like whoosh ups and downs that when this, um, when this becomes, when, when the, the traditional banking system comes in and they're used to 15% being like, oh, so exciting. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is probably why they're all wanting to get in because look, I mean, we saw that one point go up to 3,000%. Now, would everyone have known that? Not necessarily, unless you had like, probably understanding of what's going on or the fundamentals of it, right? So, there's still not a big amount of regulation in this space, and I'm sure there will probably be some uh, situations created that purposely create um, bad situations so that more laws can come into it, but I would be very cautious and, uh, um, <laughs> read between the lines because if somebody is going to have a bad situation you know just like the movie I, we're watching um, House of Guards you know sometimes situations are created just so that there's supposedly a need for more regulation right but who's at the end of that you know list so meaning like that who re who gains a reward from that I don't know if this is making sense at all but the point is is just don't be emotional just follow the numbers when there's a time to take profit, take the profit, hold your money. The stable coins seem to still be staying stable, which is good. Um, you know, there's always that controversial, oh, it's not going to be stable. So that's a fundamental that I think would be worthwhile keeping up with. If you just want to jump between like Ethereum or Bitcoin or Litecoin or some of the top 20 to 50 market cap coins, then and, and try going with the ones that pair with the stable coin. So you're staying within the crypto realm or, or at ProCoinBase.com, you can just go back and forth through USD and you can just ride those waves. Simplify your life and when you're technical trading, just pick the ones that are actually like, um, they may be little, little, little gains, 10, 20, 30%. Well, I guess 30 is kind of exciting, right? But a little bit gains every every few weeks or every month that coin may pop. Trading is only like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there. But at the end of the end of the year, you're gonna see some great results. All right. Do you guys have any questions while I'm here? I'm about to jump off of this and go out into Vegas and have some fun. All right. No questions. I'll see you guys soon. I'll drop the link to the web, the Wednesday webinar. It'll be tomorrow from 8 to 9. And it's tool time, crypto tool time. So you can kind of see the tools that I use and how they work and what they're telling me and why I use them. And then you can get a better eye on what's going on in the market right now and where the, the right now wave is. And you can, you'll know pretty much by the end of that. Is it, is it, right now is the time to jump on or is it not and then please bring all your questions and so everybody else can learn from where you are 
we could talk about Coinbase, what it is, why we use Pro Coinbase, um, Binance, how to transfer. Pro Coinbase is only a 0.03% fee, so it's so much cheaper. And uh, the ultimate result is we, and the goal is to help you learn how to manage your own money and uh, maintain and hold and that's it. Be able to sit back and relax and multiply your money a few times so that you can actually like stay at home, work from your computer. Set at the pool, Kim. <laughs> Kim, you can stay at home and play with the dogs, right? You can go camping with Kirk. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Hey, Danielle. Good to see you guys. All right, so you guys just jumped on, so I'll show you a little bit of Vegas. Oh, the food here. Oh, it's amazing. We went to this buffet. It's great. And then one of um, Jerry, one of um, the fans said, oh, my God, you got to go to Caesar Palace and have the uh, buffet. So delicious. Isn't that amazing, you guys? We had a view of uh, the Bellagio. I was wishing I, I, but I'm not in that room right now. The Bellagio is amazing. It makes these weird sounds. You think there's something bad going on, but it's the water going up and down. All right, I'm jumping off, guys. I'm going to see what's going on in the market. Look below and see the post today so you can kind of see that the radar is ready for you guys. And maybe we can talk about it tomorrow, demo it a little bit. So that is, if you're really into training, it's, it's oh, so, it's this ultimate intellectual technological tool that really jumps in there and shows you, hey, it's time, it's time to jump in or it's, it's time to jump off that one. And it simplifies it for you. It just, it's only a handful of, of coin pairs so that you can really get on your trading view, know exactly what you're doing. It's um, pretty much no brainer. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.